So we're going to take the selector switch and we're going to turn it to that setting. And this is where we're going to, if you'll notice the little dashes that I was trying to show you a while ago, this means there's no connection whatsoever. If we had a connection, this is what it'll look like. All right. Now, uh, we will get uh, resistance readings, but that, that, that still means, if we get a reading, that still means there is a connection. But if we get this, there is no connection whatsoever. That means there's nothing at all. And I'll give you an example. All right. So if I was to touch from here to here, there's no connection. You notice the readings? There's nothing. It's staying dash. But if they, if there was a connection and I did this, it would do this. But it, it's not. So when I go over here, you'll notice it's not doing it neither. If I go over here across one another, there's no connection or continuity. I do it right here. There's no continuity. Now, when, matter of fact, from here to this side, or this side, I'm sorry, this side, there's no continuity. When I go to each one of those points, I'm going to touch this, and I'm going to go to each one, and you're going to see there's no reading. And that's normal, right? No reading. No reading. No reading. That's normal. That's what it's supposed to do. But now, if... I'm going to flip the contactor over. You see this right here? This is connected to one side of a coil that's internal inside here, inside this uh, contactor. I'll flip it over, you'll see the same thing. This is the, the other end of the coil that's inside there that makes a magnetic field that when, when you turn on that magnetic field, it pulls these down. If you can see it, let me get it where you can see it. It pulls that plunger down like that. When I put voltage to both sides of here, it will pull this down, which will create a, a continuity between these two points right there. So when I put it on here, I'm going to touch it right here. I'm going to push the plunger down, and you should see the reading. You notice there's some resistance, and that means there's there's something wrong with this contactor, but because normally it should be close to zero, but it's showing 20, so that's really not a good sign. But I wanted you to see that even what a bad contactor looks like. Okay, we're going to do the other side. See how that one went to zero. So that one's good. That side's good. But this side, for some reason, one of the students dropped it, I think, and something got damaged in it. It got better, so it, maybe I'm not make, giving it good contact. But there's still some resistance there. So this contact could be good or bad, but if I had to guess, maybe the, the batteries on the meter is getting low. Okay? So we know we, when the contactor is turned on, we know we have continuity between here and here, here and here. But you'll notice we won't have con uh, uh, continuity between each other, though. Watch. So I'm putting it right there. There's no continuity there. If I do it on the other end, there's no continuity there. Notice there's no reading at all on the meter. So even if I did like this to one side to the other, there's still no reading. All right? It's only from here to here. And from here to here. And if you no you remember what prior we did from here to here, and you notice the meter's not doing anything. There's no connection between the coil and up here. So there's no electrical connection between these and the coil. All it is is a magnetic field that pulls a plunger down that has no electrical connection to these points right here. So that means is we can use a lower voltage or a different voltage to control whatever voltage we're using here. For instance, I can have 100, uh, 20 DC voltage, DC voltage through this side, and I can have uh, 100 AC voltage going through the other side. 
and I can use 24 volts these uh, AC to control both those different voltages right there as long as I don't intermix them together where they make contact with one another nothing will go wrong all right so just to remember this is an individual like an individual light switch an individual light switch they're not connected this is one light switch and this is the second light switch okay and this is you this is you turning on the light switch now there is some continuity between the coil but there's supposed to be some resistance about 12 ohms so it's close to 12 ohms so it's supposed to have some resistance but you're not supposed to have resistance between here or between here when this is engaged all right so that's how we can check a meter I mean use a meter to check to see if a contactor is good and it's best to take the contactor out of circuit and check its uh, check it out to make sure it's okay because if you try to do it in a circuit you could read through something like a resistor or another relay or something or a transformer or something that uh, would give you a false positive as today we talk about COVID-19 sometimes you can get a false positive on that but we're not going to go into there all right so this is the assignment that we did in class so I want you to go to that assignment and write down what you observed as I went through this contactor, all right? And uh, use your own words. Let's not copy and paste about contactors and how to use a meter, all right?